Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 Edition. Page 420. Aphasia. What is aphasia? Aphasia is a higher order inability to speak. It's a language deficit. What is dysarthria? Dysarthria is the motor inability to speak, so it's the movement deficit. Name the four type of aphasias. The four type of aphasias include Broca's aphasia, Wernicke's aphasia, global aphasia, and conduction aphasia. What is Broca's aphasia? Broca's aphasia is a non-fluent aphasia with intact comprehension. What is the mnemonic to help you remember Broca's aphasia? The mnemonic to help you remember this is just remember Broca's broken boca, and boca means mouth in Spanish. What is another name for Broca's aphasia? Broca's aphasia is also known as expressive aphasia. What is the Broca's area? Broca's area is the inferior frontal gyrus of the frontal lobe. What is Wernicke's aphasia? Wernicke's aphasia is a fluent aphasia with impaired comprehension. What is the mnemonic to help you remember Wernicke's aphasia? The mnemonic to help you remember this is Wernicke is wordy but makes no sense. So when a person with Wernicke's talk, you're like, what? What is the Wernicke's area? Wernicke's area is the superior temporal gyrus of the temporal lobe. What is another name of Wernicke's aphasia? Another name of Wernicke's aphasia is repetitive aphasia. Summarize the difference between Broca's aphasia and Wernicke's aphasia. Broca's aphasia is when the person cannot talk properly, but they can understand. So just remember that the mouth is broken. And so this is expressive aphasia. And Wernicke's aphasia is when the person can talk properly, but they don't understand. So these people are wordy, and therefore this is repetitive aphasia. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com, where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.